Hey everyone, welcome back to TechWise. If your Wi-Fi disappear, your Ethernet says no internet, or your whole network adapter is missing, don't worry. Today, I'll show you how to install or fix network adapter drivers on Windows 10 and 11, step by step, even if your PC has no internet. Let's get started. Let's start by restarting the network adapter. From your taskbar search, type device manager, and let's open it from the result. Expand network adapters. Now here you might see Intel Wireless, Realtek Wi-Fi, Qualcomm, MediaTek, or Realtek PCIe Ethernet. Here I have two. This one is my wireless internet connection, and this one is my ethernet wired connection. Since I'm connected through Wi-Fi, I'll select this one. Right click on your adapter and let's select disable device. Just wait a few seconds, then right click on it again and enable the device. This simple reset fixes a lot of issues instantly. If for some reason you don't see your adapter, go to the menu on top and select view, then select show hidden devices. While you're still inside the device manager, let's right click on your Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter again and this time select update driver and then select search automatically for drivers. If Windows find one, install it. If it says the best drivers are already installed, that just means there is no offline updates available. Let's right click on your Wi-Fi or Ethernet driver one more time and select uninstall device and check attempt to remove the driver for this device. Then click uninstall. Restart your PC and Windows will reinstall the driver automatically. Let's open settings and go to network and internet. Then advanced network settings. Scroll down and let's click on network reset. Then click on the button that says reset now. And then just click yes to confirm. Your computer will restart and reinstall all the network adapters from scratch. If your adapter was corrupted or removed, this often brings it back. And this method will reset your WinSAC, TCP, IP, and IP configuration. Super helpful for broken or corrupted network settings. From the taskbar search, let's type CMD, right click on the command prompt, and select run as administrator. And let's run these commands one by one. You'll find them down in the video's descriptions. And once complete, close the command prompt and restart your computer. Now I'm assuming your PC doesn't have internet, so you'll need another device, another computer, or even a smartphone to complete this step. First, let's get your computer's information. From the taskbar search, type MS Info 32 and let's open the system information. Look for system model, system SKU, or baseboard manufacturer, and write the information down. And now let's download the correct drivers using another device. Open a browser and let's go to your official manufacturer site. In my case, I'm using an MSI laptop, so I would search for MSI support. And from the result, Click on the download under the official MSI support page. For example, if you have an HP computer, just search for HP support and choose software and drivers under the official website. Once on the official support page, search your model. In my case, it's GL75 
Lebert 10 str Then select download. You might be asked to select your model, so just select it. Then look for drivers. Select your operating system, whether it's a Windows 10 or 11. And look for wireless LAN or LAN drivers and just download it. Once the download is complete, you need to transfer the downloaded drivers to your PC using a USB flash drive or your phone's USB cable. Extract zip files if needed. Then if you see an exe file, double click on it to install it. And just follow the on-screen prompt. Now in my case, I need to look for the exe file. So I'll go to UWD, then Win64, since I'm on a Windows 64-bit, then Installer, and just double click on the wireless setup.exe. And that's it. Your Wi-Fi or Ethernet should be working again by now. If this helped you, hit like, subscribe to TechWise, and let me know which method worked for you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.